Hello beautiful and welcome back. Uh, today I have another unboxing for you and today we're going to be taking a look at Raquel Welch and the name of this wig is called Untold Story and this color is Bronzed Sable. So let's jump in. All right so the first thing I see here is whenever I opened it up it had a card letting me know that it had been packed inside out specifically. Um, and it just makes sure that it eliminates any cold set. So looks like that's why they were doing that to start off with. Um, let's see here. It is Bobby pinned in. Oh, this is cute. I think it's going to be a little shorter one. So now that the tag is cut off, first thing you notice is that it is a hand tied cap. So fully hand tied, those tend to be very stretchy, uh, very comfortable, especially if you don't have bio hair. Um, and then the front, of course, uh, since it is hand tied, it does have a full uh, interchangeable part monofilament here with a gorgeous lace front. Raquel Welch has some of the best lace fronts. You do have an extended nape, sorry, I forgot that while we were spinning around. Um, it does have an extended nape and the Velcro adjusters on these. And you have, of course, the felt covered ear tabs as well. All right, so let's take a look at this. Oh, this is cute. So what I thought was flipping out is actually flipping under, it looks like. And it does have some, looks like some good layering through here. We'll see more when we put it on. But first let's talk about this color. Man, this color is really pretty. Uh, so Bronze Sable is the name of this color. And let me read you the description of that. All right, so Bronze Sable has a pretty quick color description. Uh, it is the, that it is a lighter brown with highlights. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of my own opinion here. So the lighter brown, um, it's probably about a six, which would make sense because the color code is a six slash 28. Um, so a six base here, and then these colors are probably the 28. And a 28 is gonna be a little bit of a warmer tone of blonde, not super light colored, more in between red and blonde. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. So overall, um, decently warm color. And that six is just gorgeous. And I actually have, I colored my hair. <laughs> I colored my hair. I was getting a lot of grays. This is actually not my natural hair color. This is actually a little bit darker. Um, what I thought was the six was probably about a four. So my hair is actually very, very dark right now. It was almost black when I first had it but it's not too bad now. But yeah, so if your hair matches a six, um, if you like to leave some of your hair out, that would totally match here. But overall, super, super cute wig. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and put her on and see what she looks like. Man, widow's peaks are like the worst to cover. Depending on how small your forehead is, you can lose your forehead really quick when you have a widow's peak. All right, that's probably good enough. You can see it a little bit. All right, first off, the fit is very comfortable. So I did wanna mention that before I even brush it out. It fits fantastic up against my head. It is quite snug, but not tight, meaning that I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Um, haven't changed the part yet. So this is what it looks like directly out of the box and it is super cute already. I haven't even taken the part out yet, but it is adorable. Let's see if we can't just loosen up a little bit here. The first thing I noticed right away when I looked at these product photos online, um, both Taz and Eileen, who also reviews Rig Studio One, uh, they looked identical. The wigs looked absolutely identical. Um, they had a little bit of a lift here and then it kind of swooped down and then came back. That's pretty much what it is. I'll put a little photo up here. Um, but yeah, so that's what this is doing. This is not quite doing that and I think it might be because I don't have it parted yet. So let's go ahead and part it. Yeah, that actually helped. <laughs> A little bit. All right, so I just parted it right where it wanted to part, which was already over here on the left side. I am personally more of a middle part girl, but I think this is cute. Wow. All right, before I get too much into it, let me give it a comb and then I'll do a 360.
Also, I wanna show you guys this lace front because Raquel Welch always has amazing lace fronts. So obviously you can see a little bit of my widow's peak just poking through right there. Um, but if I pulled it down, that wouldn't happen anymore. But man, this lace front is really pretty, you guys. Um, the lace front is actually going to about my temple. So it has a temple to temple lace. So if you're like me and you have a little bit of your own bio hair coming out right here, that will show, just be aware. But if it matches pretty well, that's not gonna be a problem whatsoever. But man, how cute is this cut actually? This is a fantastic professional cut. This is something that I absolutely would wear to the office. This is something that looks very put together, very sleek and very modern. And I think it's very cute. Um, the fact that you can part it anywhere you want is great. Um, and then this color, this color is really pretty. So there's that dark, well, not dark, sorry. They called it light brown. They called it a light brown, didn't they? Can't remember what I said already. Yeah, they called it a lighter brown, but this is, to me, this is definitely more of a medium brown. Um, so this is your six, and then on here, this is your 28. So these are all your highlights that are the 28s, and this is coming off very true to color on screen right now that I can see, so that's what you should expect with this color. Looks like you have more of the highlighting in through here, um, but it is super cute. Um, like I said, very professional. And what I love about this, and a lot of, a lot of synthetic styles, it doesn't take any real styling for you. For this, I'd probably put a little bit of some styling cream just to keep that out of my face there, which is probably what, um, which might be what Taz and Eileen did. No, I didn't ask them if they used any styling cream in their video, but it is super cute. All right, let's talk about the measurements real quick. So the first thing is the bang. So the bang is 8.5 inches. And then your crown is going to be 10.5. There are some layers of seven inch sides through here. Uh, the back is nine, and then you have a nape of five inches. So when they say a bang, it's not really meaning just the bang, but it just means the front section is that it's not meant to have a bang. You can of course cut one in, wouldn't, wouldn't hurt anything at all, but I don't think it really needs one. This whole side swept bang is really cute. The weight is only four ounces too, and that's probably why it's feeling so comfortable. Like I mentioned earlier, the fit is fantastic. Now I do have a 21.75 inch head, um, which is somewhere in between petite and average. Um, and I did mention that it was snug. Now snug doesn't mean tight. It just means that it's fitting up against my head very well and it feels very secure. And I don't have any um, tape on this at all. I just have my wig grip, but this is how I go out of the house. I wouldn't bother with tape or anything like that. I would just wear it just like this. It's a fantastic fit. And I think that has a lot to do with a hand tied cap. The hand tied caps tend to um, not be as bulky for me and it just feels, this feels like my own hair. <laughs> so 100%, I love this wig. I think it's fantastic, especially if you need a more professional, um, more put together look that's already styled for you and isn't just like straight hair. Um, this looks like you spent quite a bit of time on your hair making to get this vol volume and then of course this swoop of the hair that's just staying right there, so. Very cute, 10 out of 10. All right, so if you want to pick up Untold Story by Raquel Welch um, and any other beautiful colors, you can head on over to wigstudio1.com. Uh, there, make sure you are looking for a flash sale at the very top. It'll let you know if you have any discounts available to you and they will apply for you directly at checkout without any coupon codes for you to have to remember. Um, also, while you're online, we have a support group called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Um, they're gonna find myself, the other creators for Wig Studio One, as well as thousands of others to help support you in your hair loss journey. Um, if you have any questions at all, I would love to hear them. Please put them in the comments. I do try to respond to those as much as I possibly can. Um, if you're still here also, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and that like button for me. All right, until next time. Bye-bye, beautiful.